West is occurring a lot more these days as trade between the U.S. and Japan increases. Still, language and cultural barriers often remain. That's where 27-year-old Jamie Powsland comes in. She's created her own company that specializes in helping Japanese and American business people communicate with each other. Jamie came up with the idea after living in Japan for two years. Returning to Seattle, fluent in Japanese, she started NTC, Nichibei Trade Communications, after taking out a $5,000 loan. The hardest thing about it is, the, is running a business financially. At least it was for me because I did not have formal training in that area. So putting together an accounting system that works and essentially bringing in more money than we spend has been the hardest thing for me. This is our Japanese uh, word processor. Overseeing a staff of six, Jamie says NTC is finally making a profit. Sales last year grossed more than $250,000. Jamie says NTC is different from other companies because it offers more than just language translation. I think what makes us most unique is that we also add the marketing expertise and assistance, the arrangements that can be made, and educational programs that help both sides, but particularly the Americans, understand what it is that they need to do to be effective in their business relationships with Japan. With a huge U.S. trade deficit, Jamie believes more and more Americans are realizing the need to do business with Japan. Whether it's advising clients like Chateau Saint Michel Winery or this Bellevue businessman, Jamie always stresses the importance of Japanese etiquette and protocol. In the meantime, she continues to expand her business and, in the true entrepreneurial fashion, hopes to someday open a branch office in Japan. I'm Heidi Chang for the 10 o'clock news.